Hi guys. If you didn't watch the last episode of Daisy, I would recommend you check that out in the description below. Because I actually had quite a lot of problems trying to make this video right here. So check that out. Well, we are going to look at the attachments and the weapons modification system in the DC standalone. Let's get into it. The M4A1 is commonly found in military loot spawns like airfields, prisons and uh, sometimes fire stations. Weapon attachments commonly spawn in hangars and in military tents. You can find them at the Northwestern Airfield and at the Loader Airstrip if you are lucky. As we are in the early release there's still a lot of attachments that don't have a function yet like the bayonet and the silencer for the M4. At the moment if we're talking about Stanak mags it's only possible to use the double Stanak mag. The attachments can be found in different conditions, pristine being the best. Let's look at some of the scopes for the M4. I personally prefer the M68 Comp M2 optics for close quarter engagement. The T3 and RDS optics are good as well. The four times magnified ACOG optics right here are badly damaged. They could do some damage if they were in pristine condition. The M4 carry handle optics are standard equipped when you find your M4. So that's quite good, I think. Some attachments depend on a different handguard to be attached. Some of those being silencer and bipods. A quick tip, you might get lucky and bump into some of the yellow inventory crates. I would recommend you pick them up and use them as storage. They only take up four slots in your backpack, but adds another two. Let's take a look at the Mosin rifle. Like the M4A1, the Mosin has a large variety of attachments. Simply drag and drop them from your inventory list and set up your gun rifle as you like. Quite a lot in Daisy prefer the Mosin rifle because it packs a punch that will knock you down in one shot. Attach the PU scope for mid to close range engagements or simply go with the iron sight. A tip to you guys. I prefer to keep both the PU scope and the long range scope. Starting to scout with the long range scope and switching to the PU scope for engaging in mid to close range. Let's have a look at the different scopes for the Mosin. The long range scope. Hold down right mouse button to zoom in. The PU scope. And last but not at least, let's take a look at the sidearm. The handgun, the pistol, seen here with a red dot sight. See you guys. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I really appreciate the feedback I am getting from you. If you 
would like to see a previous episode, just click the annotation right here on the screen below. Please leave a comment and subscribe. Until next time, have fun.